Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah, Koholoyim La, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bahashem Rekha HaKadash. Double honors to our apostles and to our elders, the great millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all. All the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. Jachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And. As you can see on, on, on this, um, you know, backdrop here, up up at the top here, we have um, a picture of our people being in slavery, picking cotton underneath the so-called white man's rule. And we're still basically picking cotton <laughs> to this very day, 500 years later. It's just a different form of slavery. You know, you're still getting up, you're still going in, you're punching in, and you, you know, what little you have, you know, or you get out of this, man. Because, you know, most of our people are living um, check to check paycheck to paycheck week to week and this man literally has the audacity to hang on to your money you know until the end of the week or to the end of two weeks or to the end of the month you know this man is supposed to be paying you on a day-to-day -day basis because if he you know if he did that a lot of people would be a lot better off you know you can you know go and handle things you wouldn't have to borrow and, and so-called going to debt, you know, so to speak, you know, because you'll have your money every day. I mean, it makes sense. You know, if you was getting paid for your eight hours every single day, that would make a huge difference in your life. But this this so-called white man, he's so damn greedy and he's slick because what they're basically doing is they're holding on to your money. They're, they're, it's in the banks. The banks are paying them interest on your money and they're paying you off interest that they're making off of your money you know not necessarily all of it not necessarily all your pay but that money is in the bank and you best believe it's collecting some interest so he's paying you on a week to week to week basis when he should be paying you on a day-to-day -day basis but now at the bottom of this picture you see a so-called white woman and this lady to the left right here which i want to play the video but i'm not going to play it because i don't want to copyright um thing on, on, on the channel you know what i'm saying but i'll just briefly explain it because this is his uh the african diaspora channel um i can't think of this guy's name he's an israelite he know he's an israelite but he kind of leans towards um the hamite african everybody that's dark skin are basically the same people and that's not the case we are shemites we come from abraham isaac and jacob they are hamites you know <laughs> they're not you know uh, uh we're not the same of the same family so to speak the lord made a covenant with the or prom he gave promises to abraham isaac and jacob and made um, um a covenant with the children of israel he didn't you know um do that with um all the other nations everyone with melanin are not the same people if you go to the continent of africa it's 54 countries in that continent everyone there Though they are all, you know, pretty much are overall Hamites, they're still going to tell you, oh, we're not the same people. A Zimbabwean is not going to tell you that they're a Ugandan. A Ugandan is not going to tell you that they're a um, Nigerian, so to speak. So, you know, even you have people of color. Everyone has melanin, actually, except for the so-called white man. Even the so-called Chinese and so-called Japanese, they have a little bit of um, pigmentation to them. The only race of people on the earth that don't have pigmentation is the so-called white man. And we say so-called because he's actually pinkish to reddish in color. Because this lady right here, she's not actually white. But anyway, with this particular video, this lady was going in. I wish I could play it, but I'm just going to, you know, give you what she was saying, basically. And she was going, she was like, hey, look, you so-called white people have had a, a 400 to 500 year of head start. And don't look for no pity from us, you know, when it comes to you being down and out, you being homeless, you being on the streets, you, you know, having problems. That's not our problem. <laughs> see, and that's the title on this. It says not our problem. But see, the so-called white people, they want to, you know, make you feel as if, you know, because um, see, first off, our people are very loving and very good people when it comes to, um, you know, dealing with the other nations. We just hate each other. <laughs> for real our people will get will go all out of their way to do all kinds of niceness for the so-called white man but when it comes to their own people uh 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 but that's a part of the curses of deuteronomy chapter 28 so supposedly this lady right here the so-called white woman in the corner right here she's homeless 
I, um, I, I'm, a, I'm assuming, you know, um, I think she said she had some, you know, um, drug problems, whatever, whatever. But this lady, so-called black woman, is like, hey, look, that's not our problem. You know, she was like, I don't hate all so-called white people. She was like, some of us do. <laughs> but she was like, not me. But so, you know, she kind of kicked in at the end of the video, you know, where she was basically like, hey, look, I don't hate y'all like that. I don't hate you, but I'm not going to go out of my way, so to speak, to um, appease you and help you out because you've had this huge head start. And um, I think this guy's name is Philip, um, Philip something, whatever his name is. Um, but he went off into it, too. He's like, hey, look. As a so-called black man here, he, he was like, hey, I should be a lot further ahead, you know, but because of my skin color, I understand and know that I, I can't be because basically he's saying, hey, this is not our kingdom, you know. But I thought about this video because I seen it. I think it was yesterday. It was kind of actually playing in the background. Um, it wasn't even something that I actually pushed on. Uh, but anyway, today, you know, I'm at the plantation and, you know, I was kind of making some moves. I stopped at a spot. Um, heading off into a, uh, a store And this so-called white man He's about to get hit by cars, man Trying to get to me Now he's passing up all his people, right? He's passing up all Edomites He's 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 trying to get to me To ask me for 50 cent to get on the bus And I'm thinking to myself like Your people right here I'm in your people's neighborhood I'm outnumbered right now amongst your people <laughs> I'm thinking <laughs> And I told him straight up Nah, I don't have it No Though I had it, but I wasn't going to give it to him. I'm like, dude, you in your neighborhood. You in a busy shopping um, district, a busy area. Your people are passing by you all day long here. You're passing by them because it was like a strip mall, so to speak. You know, and his people, he's passing up people to get to me. But see, the so-called white man, he understands that, you know, deep down, they know that we are good people when it comes to um, looking out for people. There was even a, um, a, a so-called white guy. He was in a neighborhood. I haven't seen him in a while, but he used to, um, you know, hey, I was kind of wondering, like, damn, what the hell are you doing in Jake neighborhood begging? He, you know, he was homeless. He was, you know, off the freeway, you know, and at the gas station and stuff. I'm thinking to him, like, well, what the hell are you doing in our neighborhood? You know, why aren't you in your own neighborhood um, asking your people? Because he understands that his own people would not help him out. See, that's one thing about these damn Edomites. The so-called white man, they don't like each other like that. So you have to understand, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, get your mindset off of, 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 of get your mindset off of, of thinking that they're gonna do for you, man. That going down to Egypt spirit. That Isaiah 31 and 1 spirit, I think that is. Matter of fact, let's get that. You gotta get out of that, out of that mindset. Because the so-called white man, he doesn't like his own people. Cause I see it all the time. Cause, cause I be driving, and, and you know, and I'm, I'm mostly where I'm at throughout my plantation day. I'm generally driving by them. I'm in their neighborhoods driving, and I would always see. There, there, matter of fact, there's a um a spot where it's four Edomites. You got, you know how you have a four corner intersection. It's four Edomites on each corner. When I'm sitting in a wheelchair, he's got on a, you know, um, his, his, his military shit, you know, his legs is gone. He done went to, he's a veteran, you know, he's got the American flag. He's out there with a cardboard and there's four of them on each, there's one on each corner begging. And you know, the Edomites, the so-called white man, they'll stop at that light and won't even acknowledge the man. You'll roll right past him and I roll right past him too. But that's the thing. Here you go. You're a veteran. The so-called white man is a veteran that went and fought for this, this, this country that they stole and their people are on the, on the damn corner begging and their own people won't even help them out. So don't, don't get tricked, you know, or don't be deceived when you see these, these, um, these military commercials on TV when they're showing the damn NFL games, your Super Bowls, your NBA game, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You, they try and show that we care. That the so that they they care so you know um they show you they give you these videos of people you know um giving their gratitude and thanks when they see um the the, the military walking through the airports and shit oh we thank you for your service look man <laughs> the so called white man don't like the so called white man man you see but uh let me get this um I'm gonna come back to this Toby too. I don't want to keep this long, but, you know, it's, it's, I thought about this video when the guy asked me for that 50 cent. Like, dude, 
And he was a younger guy too. A younger um Edomite. But he's passing all his people to get to me. Like, why aren't you asking your own kind for help? Because he know that they're not going to give it to him, man. Straight up. Straight up. You, you better realize how the so-called white man gets down. You think the so-called white man, every now and then, you know, you'll have those neighbors where, you know, okay, they speak. Hey, how you doing, Betty? And all this other shit. But they don't, they, they don't get down like that, man. Esau, Edom don't get down with each other like that. They may have a, a few homeboys where they're like, oh, man, we're going fishing. But when it comes to their neighbors, like right next door to them and right across the street from them, they're not really um, too good with each other like that. Trust me when I tell you that they they'll meet somebody at the job. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, may have something in common. Oh, yeah, we're in the race cars. We're into, you know, skiing. We're into, you know, surfing. Oh, dude, we're going to meet up for the weekend, you know, but rarely. Now, I'm a, now if a so-called black person or somebody is running through their neighborhood, I'm sure they'll they'll link all up to get the nigger. <laughs> I'm sure about that. But when it comes to them just actually hanging out and loving each other, you know, um, you know, hey, how you doing? I got I made no. Esau don't want to deal with their own people, man. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, hey, we're in these last days. Y'all better wake y'all asses up and realize that when shit hits the fans, you are not gonna have a chance going to this man for any type of help. No assistance, all that food stamps, all that welfare, all that, um, um, you know, uh, 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 you know, <laughs> being able to go and get a damn um, focus hope box with, with, with that block of cheese in it and shit. Hey, look, they, they're going to be like, no. This, there, it's coming a time where you're going to have to be dependent upon Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai and him only. You better start. You better start to get that in your head right now. It's best you you start thinking on that level right now. Like, hey, look. It's the Lord that looks out for me. It's the Lord that feeds me and clothes me and keep a roof over my head. But you, you, you Negroes, you'll run down to Esau, eat him, the so-called white man, and go and ask this and beg this man for every. Right now, Jake is out here begging a so-called white man. They still marching about a nigga getting killed by the police, man. That's not gonna stop happening, man. You better start going to the Lord. And praying to Yahweh. I was just reading in the book of Tobit how, you know, Tobit, man, hey, he, he was praying to the Lord like, Lord, please, you know, have mercy on me. Roughly paraphrasing it. And, and my forefathers, for, for, we're in captivity for what we done. And he was like, you know, asking for mercy, man. You know, please, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, have mercy on me. Matter of fact, he was praying that, you know, the Lord would just go ahead and take him on out of here, man. And some days you'll feel like that being in this man's kingdom. You go, Lord, please just take me out of here. <laughs> please, Lord, to be absent from this body is to be present with you. Please, Yahweh, get me out of this place. This place is vexing, man. And when Jacob's trouble jump off, this is a hey, you. This Isaiah thirty-one and one. When Jacob's trouble go go down, you better be calling on the Lord, man. It said, um, verse one. It says, "Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help." And that word woe goes into a hey, destruction, man. And stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not to the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord Yahweh, man. Our people don't seek the Lord. They run in straight to the so-called white man when things get thick. They seek. They run into the so-called white man. They go in to get his medicines. They don't pray to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? They don't pray to the Lord. Well, Lord, I don't know what's going on with me. You know, I need healing. I'm not feeling. I'm feeling some type of. Hey, the Lord can get healing to you, in 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 a, in, a, in any type of manner. Really, I mean, you know, the scriptures talks about you know if you're feeling you know feeling sick or whatever, you know, go to the elders. Let them anoint you with oil. Let them pray over you. The the prayers of the the um the righteous availeth much. Roughly paraphrasing. They don't. They don't. You know, have faith in the Lord. They're going to get night quill. They're going to get a aspirin. They're going to get bear. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get whatever it is that the so-called white man got on the market to, to heal them. They don't go to the Lord because even if you're going to use a product like that, you're going to go and get this man's supplements. So you're going to go and get his um vitamins or his minerals and all that other shit. And you still got to pray to the Lord because it's the Lord. Healing comes from the Lord. You see what I'm saying? But our people. They go down to this man they because they look at this man as being all-powerful. 
This man, he, he's in control of everything. He's in control of the finances. He's in control of um your food. He's in control of your water. You see what I'm saying? And the Lord done it like that. But guess who the Lord? They they don't even realize that it's the Lord that actually gave them that power. They don't acknowledge that the Lord gave them that power. At least if you're going through them, you should be like, well, you know what? <laughs> I, hey, look, this is the Lord. You wouldn't have that power if it wasn't for um, the Lord Yahweh. Even Yahweh Shai said that to Pontius Pilate. Pontius Pilate was like, hey, don't you know that I can do such and such? I can have this done to you. You know, basically like he has the power to give life or he's the one that has power to kill. No, it's the Lord that has the power to um to give life and death, man. The Lord is in control of all that. And Yahweh Shai told him straight up, hey, look, you wouldn't be able to do nothing if my Lord, if my father did not give you the power to do it. Roughly paraphrasing. See? So when in these last days, you you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you better wake your asses up and repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, man. And 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 get ready for what's to come. Cause this some crazy this shit is about to get nuts, so man, here, man. This so-called white man is not about to give up his kingdom and and and, and um, he's not about to give up his kingdom just willingly. This man going to go out fighting and scrapping and kicking like a little kid. And because they don't like the father, they know that you're the children. <laughs> they going to come up against you. You see what I'm saying? So we're dependent upon you. How about Shimei was shy for food, water, shelter, clothing? You know what I'm saying? And, and that's why we, we live on a day to day basis. My daily bread. You see, you are trying to make a future here in Esau Edom's kingdom and this place is about to fall. But anyway, let me go back to that Tobit. I wanted to get that one scripture, too. That's Tobit 4 and, um, and Tobit is a beautiful book, man. It just make me, you know, when I read it, it's just it's just it's, it's so it just seems so. It just make you smile, man, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? It's such, you know, it's just a, a beautiful story. You got to read through the book of Tobit, man. Um, well, let's get uh, chapter four. I think that's verse 18. Yeah, um, verse 17. Power out thy bread on the burial of the just, but give nothing to the wicked. Give nothing to the wicked. You see what I'm saying? This dude running up, he passing all past his people to get to me to ask me for some money. Like, dude. <laughs> what 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 uh the brothers call it um you you're a double um and basically you're a double loser. Here you go, you're in 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 your kingdom and you're losing. You didn't had a 500 year head start. That's what this lady was saying in this video right here. You had a 500 year head start and, and and you're behind. It's not our problem. This lady, she was like, hey, look, my mama wouldn't be out on the streets like that. Why? Because she have a place to live. If I got a place to live. But see, this is what I'm saying about the so-called white man. They don't care like that. They don't care. These are some of the most selfish people in the world, man. And you and you can clearly see that just from the description of Esau, man. You know, they're they're <laughs> just from the, the, the they're they're really greedy and they're really fucking selfish, man. They're not brotherly people, man. You know, now I'm not going to say every single last one of them are like that because they'll get some of them will get down. But that mentality is like that. They, that that overall, the, the bulk of them, they have that mentality of me, 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 me. See, that's why they'll get so mad with you. Say, for instance, if you tell one of these so-called white people, I don't celebrate Fourth of July and they ask you why. And you just be like, oh, well, it was a long time ago. Why should I? Because they'll tell you it was a long time ago with slavery. You guys should forget about slavery. It was a long time ago. But they'll break out the barbecue grill to celebrate some shit from 400 years ago, 500 years ago, what, whenever 1776 was. They'll celebrate like crazy. And then they'll get mad with you. Tell one of these so-called white people you don't consider yourself to be an American and, and see how, how, how pissed off they get. Turn red looking like a, a, the brake lights on the ambulance. But in the meanwhile, they'll tell you, take your ass back to Africa. <laughs> but they're expecting you to be a part of what they stole. And when you don't act that way, you know, it, it's a problem with them. They don't like that, man. I was just done a lesson the other day talking about the so-called white man and being at work, you know, just going to the job. 
you know, and I, you know, I just cordially speak to people. Hey, how you doing? You know, you just blowing by people. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, I'm, I'm here, you know, and basically I'm just being subtile. You know, I'm being, you know, wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, the way the scriptures talks about. Because I don't give a shit about speaking to him anyway. I don't want to talk to him to begin with. But I will say, hey, hey, how you doing? Morning. Keep it moving. But they go out of their way to not want to speak to you. You can see it on there. You can see how they just go to look in a whole nother direction. And you're the only, you're the only people in the vicinity. But what I noticed was once I stopped speaking to them, then they wanted to speak. I don't even pay them eye contact. Just blow by them like their ass is invisible. Then they want to, hey, how you doing? Uh, hey, and keep on moving. They don't like that because they feel like you should be showing all your damn teeth, laughing and giggling and, 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 and you know, just bowing to them, basically, because that's what they're used to. See, the Lord is raising up the children of Israel, man, and, and, and we're not going for that shit like that no more, man. Now, we go to work. We do what we have to do. You ain't running off into no job and like, oh, fuck you, Edomites. Fuck you, y'all going in there slave. You know, no, no. Hey, how you doing? You got to deal with them. You got to work with them. You get your work done. You go home. Because the scripture does say, you know, if it's at all possible, be at peace with all men. We're not trying to go. I'm, hey, I'm not blowing no energy on, on Esau. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to get my little, little, little cake and getting the fuck on, man. That's what you should be thinking like. Because I'm telling you, the city that I, I work in, that's how I'm saying this dude that I seen, he asking me for 50 damn cent. I'm like, dude, the city that we in right now is 98 to 99 percent white people. The whole population where I work at because I'm that's pretty much where I'm, I'm dealing when I'm when I'm out and about driving you know to go and handle shit that I need to handle for the job it's all Edomites so why are you blowing all past your people to get to me I'm talking about he was running to me like I was the savior he was car he was literally he almost got hit by two cars <laughs> literally and I'm like well what the fuck is going what's wrong you know because when he ran up and walked up you know he all trying to get to me I'm like well what's what's the problem what's do I have to knuckle up, you know, and whoop on his, you know, do I, do I have to go into the boxing stands? He said, oh, hey, I remember, can you? No. I told his ass, no, straight up, and kept right on walking. Get your ass away from me. Here you go. You, <laughs> you right here, you amongst your people, passing your people up to get to me as if I'm the damn fool. They not giving you nothing. Well, why should I? Those are your people. But anyway, I just wanted to just touch on that. It kind of reminded me of this video. This is, um, I think his name is Philip Scott. Let's see here. Yeah, it's the African Diaspora News Channel. Um, but it says, sister details why it's not a problem if them folks struggle. <laughs> I wish I could play it, but she going in. You know, she going in on it. And, and, and I agree totally with her. I totally agree with her. She was like a, up until the point where she was like, you know, um, well, I don't hate, you know. Hey, look, man, the Lord said, love the good, hate the evil. These people are wicked and evil as hell. You think that they'll repent and tell you So Most of these people, they, they might, you know what I'm saying? If, if they're out in public and there's cameras on them and a crowd is around them. Oh, yeah, that slavery thing. Yeah, it was fucked up, dude. That was real bad. Do you feel bad about what they don't really truly feel bad? You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> and, and they'll tell you straight up. I had nothing to do with it. Though they benefit from it. So our people go from this right here in the damn fields. We still going to work, working our asses off for pennies in this place. And then you got a motherfucker running up on you. He wants some money. He wants some of what you work for. Get the hell out of here, man. No, go get that from your own people. Go get it from your own people, man. But with that, I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec, man. Don't, don't be all going all out of your way, man, to get these people nothing that, that, that belongs to you, especially something that you work for. Don't even know, take no damn food off my table for you. Get the hell out of here, man. You don't, yeah, Fuck that, man. <laughs> no. I don't owe it to you. It, that, that's the A. I'm, no. <laughs> Straight the fuck up, man. You know? And I'm praying that the Lord would just give me what it takes to just blow all past that. Because, you know, hey, we're we're a real pitiful type of people. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're um, a merciful, long-suffering type of people because we have those attributes from our Lord. Even though a lot of our people are wicked as hell, they're still a long-suffering, you know, loving type of people. So we'll fall for the bullshit like, ah, well, here you go. You know, I, you know, 
Nah, man. You in your area, your ass is out here without a coat, and your people riding all by you with it, and you don't have a coat on, and they not giving up a coat for you. They're not giving you um, um money to get you something to eat or something to drink or whatever. You in your own neighborhood? No, bro. Hell, I'm actually about... <laughs> Scripture says, stay away from the man that has the power to kill. Your ass got the power to kill me and, <laughs> and can get away with it. No, not letting down my window for your ass. I'm keeping it moving. Straight up, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Quam Yashallah.